Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video tutorial is about installing an Avaya authentication file onto System Manager 6.2 when deployed in a VMware environment. This demonstration will show the tasks involved for a successful authentication file installation. The authentication file must be installed to enable and activate the Avaya Services logins for Avaya Remote Access. The steps required to accomplish this task will be transferring of the authentication file to the forward slash temp directory on the System Manager virtual machine, execution of the update ASG command to perform the installation of the authentication file, and validation that the authentication file was installed successfully. Please note, the installation of the authentication file can only be performed using the admin account of the System Manager solution. We will begin by transferring the authentication file to the temp directory of our System Manager server using the admin account as mentioned in a previous slide. You can use any file transfer program that supports SFTP or SCP. Here I'm using WinSCP. I've already established a connection to the system, so using the right navigation pane, I'll navigate to the system root directory, then to the temp directory of my System Manager server. Now, from the left navigation pane, which shows my local file system, I will drag and drop the AFS file to this server. I will acknowledge the system prompt asking if I want to move the file to proceed. As you can see here, my file has been successfully copied to the System Manager server. We can now move on to the installation of our authentication file. For the installation, you'll need console access to your System Manager server from the VMware environment or a remote console connection the SSH with the admin user account. Again, here I've already established a remote session to my system, so I'll begin by confirming the presence of my authentication file in the temp directory by using the command ls space forward slash tmp, then press return. Note the authentication file in the output. Now, because we'll need to pass this file name to the update ASG command, I recommend you copy the file name to avoid mistyping it manually. Next, with the file name copied into your buffer, issue the command update capital A capital S capital G for update ASG, then press enter. Now, this next step is very important. You will need to provide the absolute path to the location of the authentication file, even if you're in the directory relative to the file location. So here, because I have mine in the forward slash TMP directory, I'll go ahead and enter forward slash TMP forward slash then the authentication file name. Now because it is in my buffer, I'll go ahead and just paste it here. Once I have this entered, I'll go ahead and press return to execute the command. The installation takes just a few moments and if successful, you will see a message stating such. And finally, let's validate that the installation was indeed successful and test for the presence for one of the Avaya protected accounts. In this case, I'll test it with the craft user account by typing the Linux command SU space minus space craft. I'll press enter and if successful I will see a response showing me a product ID and a challenge number which as you can see here is exactly what we see. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.